There are a lot of pins on this elephant right now. Imagine trying to create an animation where we had the ears flapping and we had his trunk moving and maybe even tapping his foot. That could take a lot of work, but there is a really neat shortcut that will automatically generate keyframes for us. And all we have to do is hold down the command or control key. Now pay close attention to my cursor here. All right, I'm going to put it right here. I'll press Command or Control, and you'll see that I get a stopwatch now. All I have to do is click on any pin and move it, and it will automatically move the current time indicator along the timeline and add keyframes for me. Let's go ahead and try that by making the character breathe. So I'm going to click it at a point right about here, and I'm going to hold down once again Command or Control, and I'm going to click, and I'm going to simply move this region up and down a little bit like so. Just slowly like this so we get a little bit of breathing going. And then I'm going to let go of the mouse. Notice that we have this little cluster of points here. And if I scrub the current time indicator, we have some breathing. So watch this. How epic is that? Now what if you want to add more motion to that breathing? All you have to do is return the current time indicator to a point where you want to add new motion. You don't have to go to the beginning, by the way. You can add it anywhere. And don't forget this green line means we have some rendered stuff going on. So we have this animation going for the entire duration of that green line. I'm going to go to the beginning. I'm going to once again hold down Command or Control. And I'm going to animate his trunk. You'll notice that the breathing animation plays back while we're doing this. I'm going to stop around the same point when the green line ends and I'm going to once again scrub my current time indicator and we have more motion happening here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some more animation right about here in the middle and I'm going to make his ears move. So once again command or control and let's flap his ear. Once Bring it back down a little bit and back up. And it's so cool because you can always see the yellow outline animating to give you an indication as to what you animated already. Let's go ahead and rewind. And I'm going to grab my selection tool, deselect everything so I can focus. And now we have our really little uh, attitude filled elephant breathing and ready to rumble. And that is how you can have After Effects animate for you, or rather help you animate.